Hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial on measures of positions and outliers. So let's take a look at this problem. In a certain city, the average 20 to 29 year old man is 69.6 inches with a standard deviation of three inches. While a 20, 29 year old woman is 64.3 inches with a standard deviation of 3.9 inches. Who is relatively taller? A 75 uh, inch man or 70 uh, inch woman? Who is taller? So we know physically that the man is taller. He's five inches taller, but is he relatively taller? So we're gonna be using uh, here um, the Z-score here. So if you recall, I wrote down the information here. If you recall, the Z-score is x minus mu over uh, standard deviation. X minus mean over standard deviation, x is uh, the value. So let's go ahead and see. We have the z-score for the man is x. So the height of the man is 75 inches, okay? So this one will be here, 75, minus the mean, which is 69.6, divided by the standard deviation, which is three. Now, if you do the calculation, the z-score, you should get, uh, you can get your calculator that is 1.8. Remember, uh, the uh, z-score has to be, has to have only two digits after the decimal point. Here, we don't have anything that's the same as 1.80. So only one digit after that decimal point. Now let's go ahead and find the z-score for the woman. Now the height of the woman is um, 70 inches, okay? So 70. Now I have to use the mean for uh, the woman, which is 64.3 over the standard deviation of the woman, which is 3.9. Now um, that is equal, if you get your calculator, that is 1.46, okay? So we have the z-scores for both the man and the woman. If you notice, the z-score of the man is larger than the z-score of the woman. So he is relatively taller. Not only is he actually taller, but he is relatively taller because his z-score is larger than the woman's z-score. So let's go ahead and put that information uh, in our problem here. And then so the z-score of the man who is relatively taller. Uh, so oh, the man is larger than the z-score of the woman. Z-score for the man is 1.8. Z-score for the woman is 1.46. So let's see if this is correct. And that is the correct answer in here. So this is number one. So let's go ahead and try to do other problems here. Uh, so um, I want to use an example where we can use, for now, uh, the uh, quartile. So let's take a look at this problem. So violent crimes include rape, robbery, assault, and homicide. The following is a summary of the violent crime rate for all the states of, uh, of a county in a certain year. Complete parts A through D. So they've given us Q1, Q2, Q3. So let's answer that question, please. Uh, provide an interpretation of these, all these results. Choose the correct answer. 25% uh, would be, uh, so we have, um, so remember the 25, the Q1, separate the bottom 25% from the top 75%. 25% uh, of the states have violent crime rate, there's 271.8 crimes per 100,000 population or less, 50% of the uh, have a violent uh, crime rate that is 387.4. Uh, 
75% of the state have a violent uh, crime that is 5.3. So remember, Q1 separate the bottom 25% of the data from the top 75%. Q2 acts like a median. It separates the bottom 50% from the top 50%. And um, Q3 separate the bottom 75 from the top 25%. So what does it look like? It looks like this is the right answer, the one I just read. 25%, that's 71.8%, 387, that's the mean. 75%, um, that is 5.528.3. Check the answer, and that is the correct answer. All right, um, let's try to um, do a couple of problems. Uh, uh, what is it? Well, I range, remember, uh, IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 in our example here is 528.3 minus Q1, which is 271.8. So uh, IQR is 256.5. So this is 256.5 in my example. So let's check the answer, and that is correct. Interpret the uh, uh, quartile range. What is that? Well, if you remember, uh, the interquartile range is the difference between Q3 and Q1. And what does that mean, Q3 and Q1? It, isn't that the middle 50%? So you have Q1 here. So if we take a look briefly here, Q1 and Q3. So this is the bottom 25%. And the difference between Q1 and Q3 is 50%. If you recall, this is the median Q2. So here we have 25%, 25% between Q1 and median, 25% between the median and Q3, and 25% above Q3. So we're dividing the data into quartiles, right? And median, by the way, that's Q2, they're the same. So the difference between Q3 minus Q1, which is IQR, gives me the middle 50% of the data, 25 plus 25%, that gives me 50%, okay? So 50% uh, of all observation has a range of 256.5, that is my IQR, crimes per 100,000 population. So let's select that and get the answer, sure. That's correct, okay. So, um, so these are not part, there's one more here, the violent crime rate in a certain state in a country uh, in that year is 1496. Would this be an outlier, 1496? Would that be an outlier? We have to take a look at uh, the lower fence and the upper fence. So let's see, what is the upper fence, upper fence and the lower fence? Remember the upper fence and lower fence are the cutoff point. Upper fence is uh, Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. And the lower fence is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. So we need to know if that value that they want us to check, uh, if it's an outlier, is in between these two value or outside, is in between two, um, the lower fence and the upper fence. So that's what we need to uh, find out. We have a Q3 in our example is, 5.528.3 uh, plus 
IQR in our example, we found that to be 256.5. And here Q1 is, um, Q1 in our example is 271.8 uh, minus 1.5 times IQR, which is 256. Point five. So right, right here, what you're going to be doing is you're going to um, just find out the answers, 5 to 8.3, uh, just use your calculator. So the upper fence is, the upper fence is 913.05 right immediately i don't even have to find the lower fence i know this is an outlier this is larger than the upper fence but they also want us to evaluate the lower fence as well so let's go ahead and do this 271.8 minus 1.5 so uh and the um the lower fence oops that gave me negative 112.95. So let's go ahead and enter the values in uh, the problem. Uh, the lower fence is negative 112.95. And the upper fence is 913.05, uh, 913.05. So let's check the answer. Would this make it in our area as a word, right? Is it out there? Yes, because it's, no, it's not less than the upper fence. It's because it's greater than the upper fence. Remember, value for a value to not to be an outlier, it has to be between the lower fence and upper fence. These are the cutoff points. But since 1496 is larger than the upper fence, that would make it an outlier. Whoops, it came. Okay, so let's check our answer. And here's the answer for number um, for this problem right here. And um, with this, I'm going to stop now and we're going to come back. We're going to do an additional problem. So uh, see you next video. Bye bye.